हेलो एवरी वन आई एम मीना गांधी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बी सी ए साइंस टूडे इन दिस सेशन यू विल लर्न वॉट इज एन अलगोरिदम प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ एन अलगोरिदम एंड सम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अलगोरिदम तो अलगोरिदम इज एन डिजाइनिंग टूल यूज टू सॉल्व एनी रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम अलगोरिदम इज नॉट ओनली यूज इन कंप्यूटर साइंस और प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेजेस बट वी यूज द अलगोरिदम इन डेली लाइफ ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मेक कप ऑफ टी वी फॉलो सर्टन स्टेप्स लाइक फर्स्ट वी टेक केटल वी एड सम वॉटर इन अ केटल देन कीप द केटल ऑन अ गैस फॉर बॉइलिंग एंड वी एड सम शुगर टी लीव्स मिल्क इन टू केटल एंड कीप इट फॉर बॉइलिंग फॉर सम टाइम आफ्टर सम टाइम यू विल गेट टी रेडी ओके मीन्स वॉट अवैध मीन्स वॉट सर्टन स्टेप्स टू फॉलो द टू सॉल्व एनी रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम नाउ विल सी प्रॉपर डेफिनेशन ऑफ एन अलगोरिदम Algorithm is finite set of well defined instructions or steps to be followed in specific order or sequence to complete the desired task or a problem. Now already I have told algorithm is what sequence of steps but that steps should be finite and every step should be well defined meaningful. If we follow that steps in some specific order or sequence it will give desired solution. so in this definition we have to remember finite word we will define specific order and sequence now we we'll see properties of an algorithm now every algorithm must satisfy the following properties or characteristics every algorithm should have input output finiteness definiteness and effectiveness now we will see meaning of each property first property input every algorithm must accept zero or more inputs for solving any problem we require input data for example for making tea we require water tea, uh, tea leaves sugar and milk so every algorithm must accept zero or more inputs next property output every algorithm must produce at least one output now after applying finite number of steps on input algorithm must produce at least one output it can produce more than one output also next property finiteness algorithm must terminate or stop after finite number of steps the step should not be finite infinite next property definiteness every step of an algorithm must be clear and unambiguous it should be precisely defined it should be meaningful next property effectiveness every step of of an algorithm must be basic so that it can be carried out using paper and pencil in finite amount of time every step of algorithm should be feasible so that it can be carried out without any computer by using paper and pencil on a in a finite amount of time let us see some tips for writing for algorithm algorithm should be written in plain simple english in step wise manner every algorithm must begin with start step and end with stop state it must be independent of any programming language now we'll see some example for how to write algorithm now suppose for, for example we want to add two numbers now algorithm for this is step 1 will be always start then accept two numbers a and b so we'll write read a and b step 3 will be let sum equal to what a plus b we want to add two numbers a plus b and store in a variable sum step 4 will be print sum and step 5 will be stop the next algorithm is to check whether given number is even or odd you know that number is even when it is completely divisible by 2 means its remainder is zero that number is what uh, even number the step uh, same logic we will write in the steps step 1 will be start step 2 will be read that number into n step 3 is divide that number n by 2 and store its remainder in a r step 4 will be if r that equal to 0 means print means that number is even number so print n is even else print n is odd number step 5 will be stop let us see other example 
algorithm to find sum of digits. Suppose number is one twenty five, and we want to find sum of digits one plus two plus five. It is seven. So logic is that divide that number by ten and add add its remainder into what sum. Repeat the process till that number becomes zero. Same logic is written into steps. Step one will be start. Step two is take that number, take the number or read the number n as an input. Step three initialize the sum equal to zero. Step four will be divide that number by ten and store its quotient again into n, and store the remainder in a variable r. Step five will be let the sum equal to what sum plus r. Now step six will be repeat the step four and five until that number becomes zero. In step seven will be print sum and step eight will be stop. Let us see some assignments on this. Uh, multiple choice questions and algorithm is you can write correct option in comment box. Second, which of the following is a characteristic of all good algorithm? In the options are ambiguity, quality, finiteness, reliability. You can write correct option in comment box. You can try this question for as assignment. What is an algorithm? Second question: What are the properties of an algorithm? third write an algorithm to check whether given number is prime or not fourth one write an algorithm to find divisor of a given number thank you for watching this video